How do you find the solution to an equation in one variable? For example, 2x equals 10. In this lesson, you'll learn how to solve equations in one variable by using multiplicative inverses. Okay, let's review. So, uh, we have this idea of the multiplication property of equality, and that basically states that if we have two numbers that are equal, then if we multiply them both by the same number, then those numbers are still equivalent. So for example, we know that two equals two, so if we multiply both sides of that equality symbol by the same number, by four here, then those values are still equivalent. If we carry that out, we get eight equals eight, we know that's true, and so that gives us an example of that property. Another idea that's important for us to think about is this idea of the um, multiplicative inverse, and it's a pretty tricky word to say, but it's a pretty simple concept. So basically, that is a number that when we multiply it by another number, sorry, it equals one. And basically what we want to think about is almost think about this like a fraction. So if we multiply two by one half, we get one. We could also think of this as two divided by two equals one. So sometimes we forget that because we have an unknown variable, we can still apply those same rules to x. Um, for instance, we know that the multiplicative property of equality is still present even if we don't know what that value is. So we know if x equals x then 2x still equals 2x because we've multiplied both sides of that equality symbol by the same number therefore um, maintaining equivalency. So let's go ahead and look at an example here. 5x equals 30. Now remember my goal is to isolate x and we can you do this by using a multiplicative inverse. And so we would want to think, well, what's the multiplicative inverse of 5? So again, we know that 1 fifth is the multiplicative inverse of 5. So what we're going to do is multiply both sides of our equality symbol by the same thing, therefore maintaining equivalency. And when we carry out that operation, we get x equals 6. Let's do another example. So x over 3 equals 5. So what we want to think about here is x over 3 is the same thing as 1 third times x. So x over 3 times 3, and remember 3 is the multiplicative inverse of 1 over 3 or 1 third. And again, we're going to do that same operation on both sides of the equality symbol, therefore maintaining equivalency. When we go ahead and carry that out, we find that x is equal to 15. In this lesson, you learn to solve equations in one variable by using multiplicative inverses.